Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. Hey guys and welcome to today's episode. Well, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that we do house clearouts on occasion and today is one of those days. It's day one, episode one of a house clearout series. Um, we are gonna go over, we just got the keys for the property. Uh, <coughs> Melissa's coming with me this time. <laughs> my my code digger, we're gonna go and see if we can find some stuff. Um, but here's the story. Um, the, the lady passed away. She lived in this house for about 60 years. She no longer is, is there. The family lives in a different city far away. And, um, through a lawyer, we were contacted, um, to see if we could, uh, empty the, the contents. Uh, so we ended up making a deal, purchased everything in the house. Now we get to go with the keys and see what we bought. Uh, so you ready for some fun? Yeah, it should okay. be interesting. Hopefully it'll be interesting. Hopefully it'll be some good stuff. But my thoughts were... 60 years in the same house was, and I was told there was some accumulation uh, in the basement that uh, it's gonna be uh, a bit of work, but I'm not afraid of that. So uh, we'll go check it out, let's go see. Okay, the moment of truth. Let's go in, oh, there's clothes. And they left the light on for us. Well, the this area looks like a normal sort of house. Couches and things. You got the door okay? Yeah, I just locked it. Okay. It's a little bit dark in here. Oh no, another piano. <laughs> <laughs> uh, at least it doesn't look like a super duper heavy one, but nonetheless. Well, there's some uh, tchotchkes. That's cut glass. That almost looks like it's, I mean, I don't think it is Lalique, but it has that sort of Lalique look to it hang on is there a, a better light that's the only light there's like ironically so i know lights. there's a, like a ton of lamps yeah well this doesn't look so bad so far i don't know what they were worried about this just looks like uh an afternoon i'm gonna see if i can get uh the window open here there all right kitchen Well, let's do a little walkabout, I guess, first. Bathroom. Got power. Is that like an antique picture? Lots of prints. No closet. Well, there's some accumulation in here. But, you know... Everything that's in here is stuff that uh, couldn't be couldn't be dealt with. So this is what we do. Mm -hmm. They they said that. Oh, look at all the phone books. Look at all the years of phone books stacked up there. When we bought the uh, when we bought the Cadillac from Betty Joan, that's what she she had like a stack that thick that she was using to sit on the seat. She was just a little lady. And this must be probably the master bedroom. I'm guessing. Beanie Babies. Yeah. A lot of them. I don't know. I can't remember which ones are good or not. Oh, there's a Wayne Gretzky Beanie Baby. Yeah, the funny thing is that like those were so expensive at one point in time. And they're all in these little collector cases. But are there things in the drawer? Oh, look. Jewelry boxes. Do you got it? Yeah, but it's empty. This all, this had jewelry in it at one point. Oh look, there's there's something in there. It's a little earrings. This one's empty. Yeah, might might be shelled. Oh, there's some jewelry in here, and and there is jewelry in here. Oh yeah. Look, there's a little gold bracelet. 
Yeah, that's That's probably cool. actually gold, too. It feels light. Well, that's not a... Finding a drawer full of jewelry right off the bat's not a bad sign. I, I was almost worried that when we found those empty boxes, it was going to be completely gutted and emptied out. Oh, Burks. Might be something a little bit better. Do you want to open it? Sure. It'll be easier for my hands, I think. Uh, well. I'll put it in the light. Oh, that's, um, well, there's tags in here, but that's, uh, that's amber. We're, if we find a mosquito, we can recreate, uh, there's a little seahorse and a little statue charms. Of nice antique, uh, cameo. Okay, well, that's a good sign, right? Mm -hmm. Finding jewelry right off the bat. And every, there's a lot of boxes in here, too. Checking the, oh, there's a ring. Is it gold? Pearl ring? Yeah, probably. I'm guessing that's going to be. That looks like it's gold. Okay. Well, maybe we should bring some of this stuff. I was, I was thinking we'll do the walkthrough video today, but um, maybe some of this stuff should come back so we can sort it properly. That drawer is yeah. empty. I'm guessing, oh, look, there was mice. I'm guessing the, uh, these drawers probably had all that in oh, it at yeah. some point. Uh, there's more, there's jewelry boxes on the counter here too. Yep, and it's in it. Huh. As as it is. It's like a little drop. Do you think it's, uh, uh I'm we'll, not have sure. to, I we'll have, have to, to look at home and see. Yeah. And I see. Yeah, there's a bunch of jewelry. Is that? It's like uh, unicorns. No, no. Um, what's the flying horse? The uh, Pegasus? Pegasus. Yeah. This looks like crystal. Oh yeah, like Zorowski kind of. Ivana. I wonder if it's Ivana Trump. Oh, little. Binoculars, opera binoculars. Let's see the watches. What brand do we have here? Gosh, I can't even. Oh, Seiko. Let's see. That, that one, looks like a Cartier. Yeah, that looks like mine. Oh. Mm, I don't... Maybe it does say Cartier on it, but Cartier usually has a screw back. It doesn't have a pop back on it, so that might be a replica. But if that's a real Cartier, that is uh, like a $2,000 watch. We'll have to if it's real. Yeah. Okay. Are these drawers empty? Nope. They're full of stuff. Okay, let's let's walk around the hole. I could be lost in this room for a bit. I think what we're going to have to do is... Uh, Hang on. We should check this back a little. Yeah. Already... Something in there. Makeup. 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 Okay. Oh, it smells like perfume in there. If you wondered what that smells like. Clothes. Actually, vintage clothes. Probably wasn't vintage when she had it, but it is now. Oh, that's cool. Some, some a little bit newer. Oh, yeah, that's neat. Is that a yeah. dress? Hang on, stick that out. No, it's a shirt. Oh. What? Oh, that's really cool. It has like the little, uh, you know, the it, things that Very kind of 1960s looking or 70s really looking. Cool. Okay, well, so far, gosh. And that's the thing, like the first day of an adventure like this is always the most fun because you get to do the exploration and see what was left behind. I was starting to think that maybe the, it had been picked over, but they clearly left gold rings and stuff. So yeah. it couldn't have been picked over that thoroughly. Um, okay, let's, you know what? If they were buying stuff at Burke's, I am just going to look for a maker's mark on this little glass statue okay. here. I got it. Okay. No, it is not. Crystalline collection, but it looks like if that was actually like a Lalique figure, that thing would be super expensive. So I don't know plates and things Never know. oh yeah it's a bookcase with some i see some vintage books in it all right let's uh so far this isn't too bad yeah it's interesting too i'm glad you came with me hey look it's uh corningware the dishes are still in the sink oh the light oh, this house is so dark there gotta let some light in here some spices oh possibly spaghetti old recipes Oh, yeah, recipe books up top. And hang on, that looks like a depression glass dish, almost. I can't tell. Do you want me to hold the... Uh, hold... You got whatever that is? Maybe. It's really no, it looks... Glass. It's one of those little, like, uh, you oh, put yeah. your nuts and candies and... 
stuff in there. Antique sugar bowl. You know, we're gonna have to make sure to check all the... I know. I just totally backed into this fridge here. It's in a weird spot. <laughs> Maybe we'll get lucky and find a, a bag of pirate gold, but I have a feeling that they would have gone through and uh, the beneficiaries. Oh, there we go. Money. Oh, there's Pyrex. Oh, yeah. But that is, that's actually, uh, I think that's the primary uh, Pyrex from the 1949 or 50 or around there, the primary bowl set. Yeah. But I only see one unless there's more at the back. I don't know if you want to have a look down there. Sure, I Dare I open the fridge? Um, the fridge, at least whatever's in there. Nobody has lived in this house since last year. So if there's food in this fridge, okay, nothing in the freezer. Like popcorn makers and stuff in there. Like I can see that. Okay, thankfully somebody emptied the fridge out. I don't see it. Ooh, the fridge smells a little musty. A little musty. Forks and knives. Yeah, junk drawer. Every kitchen has a junk drawer. And at uh, Betty Jones' house, we, like, that one house we went through, when we went through the musician's house, you'd open a drawer that looked like this, and then there'd be, like, randomly a whole bunch of, like, silver dollars in the back of it. It's always at the spot. Careful. Well, if you were, um, if you were going to put something in a drawer like this, and you didn't want anybody to find it, you'd stick it way at the back. So we'll come, we'll come dig through that a little bit more thoroughly. Um... Ready to go downstairs? Is that a room cupboard? No, you know what that is. You don't know? No. I bet people watching at home know what it is. I, I, we had one in the Potter's house. You know what that's for? Open it up. We'll see if it's still in there. Yep. <laughs> it's what? A, it's an ironing board. I didn't... Yep. They used to build ironing boards. That was like a special feature, built-in ironing boards into your house. So. I've never seen... I don't think I've ever seen that. It is kind of strange to... I, uh, Betty Jones' house had the pop-down ironing board. The Potter's house, I think, did. Or Betty Jones' house did, for sure. I didn't see it. Yeah, anytime you see a narrow little door like that in a house, if it doesn't have an ironing board in it, it used to at one point. I think we had one, but it had... I'm fairly sure our broom closet looked like that. Like, we put our bags and broom in there. Okay. Let's see. And there's lights. Nope. Not that one. Nope. Hang on. Let me get the light on the camera. Water can. It's getting dark down here. There we go. All right. Well, this is more what I'm used to. Mm -hmm. That's kind of a weird statement, isn't it? <laughs> oh, there's an old uh, Christmas prayer. I can smell that there's been mice down here. It also, it smells musty. Like. It's, it's musty, yeah. Well, look at the vent. I don't think anybody's, oh. can't really, but there's a bed, like a 1940s queen size bed or a double bed. Toaster oven. Oh, weed whacker for some reason. Like some kind of a purse or something up there that. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to see if I can get to it? No, what happened? Like, oh, just be careful because it's like glass. Well, No, I can get to it. It's from Jamaica. That's cool. Oh, yeah, because it says Jamaica on it? Well, or maybe they just like Jamaica. I, it's probably made in Jamaica. And another one inside. That's neat. How did you even see that over here? What? This is, like, super colorful, and there's flowers. Is there another room back here? Is that a hallway? No, no I can see it here. You're, look, you're looking into here. I'm looking. Okay. Can I get through there that way? Nope. Yeah, you got to come back out. Okay. There's lots of boxes and stuff. I mean. AMA drug evaluations. Is that a wedding dress? Oh, yeah. That's a wedding dress. I wonder if it'd be like in Beetlejuice if it comes to life. Wow. At night. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some clothes down here. That's like your uh, going to the beach kind of frock. Circa 1960-something. A 
clock. Oh, there's a little old clock. Looks like a fireplace. It's a remote to something. Well, there's there's piles of vintage clothes down here. Well, I don't know how vintage they are, but there are piles of clothes. Hollywood jeans. It's got to be from like the 80s or 90s. Okay. Well, this... Oh, look, there's the old uh, screen divider, like yeah. a room divider. A lot of times they have uh, Asian um, designs on them. Painting. Or print. It seems to me like this is going to be one of those situations where you just really have to... I'm gonna have to really work for it <laughs> and dig. Hang on, I did see what looked like a, a violin case here. Those old Levi's. Actually, these mum jean kind of Levi's are popular now. But I saw this. I don't know how you saw that over there. Well, I saw the case of it sticking out and oh, it's inside. It's not in the greatest shape. Let's see, does it have a name? The name is always right on the inside there. I'm going to just use the flashlight and turn the camera off for a sec, see if I can read anything in there. Well, I don't see a maker's name on it immediately, but this case would tell me it's probably from the 1930s because uh, that's about the age of that. Oh, this will take some, uh, Doing I can see the drawers over there are totally full. Hang on. Yeah, but I don't want to step on another, yeah. like a clock or another violin or something. Some of the clothes are in uh, dry cleaning bags. Is that a blanket? It's a blanket. Okay, I'm just making sure I'm not stepping on anything too precious. God, if I found a find a mouse nest, I'm not gonna be happy. And neither will the mice. No. Well, there's a big conch shell. Cool. You say cool. I don't know what's in there. Do you wanna have a look at that? The usual climbing. Um, yeah, it's pretty big. There's, this mattress is missing some of its stuffing, which I'm guessing the mice probably used. Oh, look, more of these sort of 1960s glasses. It's like, it's this, like a... Oh, uh, oh, eight millimeter film. But it looks like it's all developed. It has their name on the back, like the... Yeah, surprisingly people buy, I'll see if the, if the family members are interested in it. They said they didn't want anything out of the house, so. Oh, gosh. Who knows what's in here? Knitting needles for sure. <coughs> oh. I found a Cabbage Patch doll or two hidden in the drawer. Okay, I'm gonna climb out because, uh, but there are at least there's empty boxes we can use for packing stuff. Yeah, That'll come in handy. Okay, I'm gonna climb my way out of here. Oh, whatever spider was in there was in there for a while. Yeah, well, no, it's got like the, you know, the little cave that the spiders go in. <laughs> I don't even mind spiders, but I mind that. Oh, yeah. You're okay? Careful. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm just trying to be careful not to... There's books there. They yeah. Okay, I think I got it. All right. Well, it seems like the... Uh... uh the stuffing kind of occurred down here in the basement. What on earth? These are pretty wild. They look like they're seal skin shoes. Is it? Might be. That feels like seal skin. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, they make seal pelt. Well, they did. I don't think That's they do it anymore. The... So wait, I was looking into this room. Yeah, this is where your hand was poking out. Is there, is there a light in here? There must be, well, there's a light bulb up there. There must be a light in here. Like a light switch. I mean, do you want me to check in behind this door? Um, 
No, I don't want you to get hurt. Hang on, I'll crawl in. Okay, it's gotta be a place for my foot. Normally, your light switch is like, you know, is there one on the outside of the door? Well, that helps a little bit. Old fans. This is where old fans come to kick the bucket. Oh, that's a big... Oh, here's the switch. Right over there. Oh, thank goodness the bulb still works. Oh, there's a closet there. Another Cabbage Patch doll. More VHS tapes. Everywhere I go, there's VHS tapes. Oh, it's an old catcher's mitt. Right there. That's a pretty old catcher's mitt, actually. Wellington and Dunn, the Winwell mitt. That's probably like 1940s. Still soft, surprisingly. Old ashtrays and stuff. Lucy Maud Montgomery book. Okay. And there is stuff in here too. Ribbons, Christmas stuff in there. Oh, there's another cabinet back there. With, oh, there's uh, like Winnie the Pooh figures. Oh, and I see a Victorian photo album. If I can get around this corner. You okay over there? I'm okay. I'm nervous about your feet. I'm mildly nervous about my feet. Hang on. Move some of this stuff out of the way. That sounds breakable. A lot of, a lot of clothes. Okay. Boxes and boxes. But look, I kind of saw... Okay. Yeah, I'm good. There's a little, uh, like a porcelain Eeyore. And where is it made? Walt Disney Productions. It's, it's authentic. It's not like a knockoff. And there's a Rue. Is it Rue with a mum? I thought Rue was the kid. Hmm. Kanga is the mom. And there's, so there's a few little Disney things here, but this is a, an antique photo album. That is your typical, I could tell as soon as I saw it out of the corner of my eye, not only is it a Victorian photo album, it has its original rest that it sits on. It's got a little drawer here, which is empty, but it is full, 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 full of antique pictures. Going back, yeah, 1909, and probably prior. Oh, and there's a cubby under the stairs that's full of uh, antique, I can see an antique, uh, um, oh my gosh, like a pot, a uh, teapot. My goodness, my brain has left my body. Oh, there's some antique pictures I can see on the floor there, which I can't get to just yet. When it starts going through the process, and we can like start making packs and seeing what's in every box and bag. And yeah. Right now, it's just the. It's a lot of climbing. But not just that; it's so much to look at all at once. Yeah, it's. Uh, no, I'm I'm okay. I normally have to. Hey, there's a there's a singer featherweight right behind the door. Are you kidding me? Right no, now? I'm I'm not kidding you. Somebody was just asking us if we get any featherweights in. I'm yeah, like, we we did a live feed, and somebody said, "Oh, I want a singer featherweight." And I said, "You never know; we might find one in the next house." Oh, it's been down here a while. It was stuck to the floor. Ooh. It has like a. <laughs> yeah, the bottom has water damage. But that's a singer featherweight. That is probably one of the best sewing machines. Oh darn! I got to go back and turn this light off. <laughs> this is what I'm yeah. dealing with right now. There. Okay. Uh, we're going to need to get gloves and a mask, I think, too. Yeah, probably. Once we start digging through stuff, we don't want the stuff getting there. Do you want to open it and see if it's if the sewing machine itself looks like it's okay? Yeah, okay. Put the spider webs on that Something thing. gets me, I'm going to... What's actually pretty... Yeah, but the bottom's got wet, so the sewing machine might have got moisture in it. Is it okay? It looks fine. It's and this is all metal, so. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's not rusty or corroded. It, it looks okay. Like... Oh, they had it sitting on a little bit of 
it was sitting on uh, wood and cardboard, so it didn't actually get wet, thankfully. Well, that's a good find. I mean, that's the thing. You can... one. My goal here is to go through all of this stuff and find all the little goodies, like the antique violin, the paintings, the sewing machines. Uh, yeah, there's stuff in there. It's just, it looks like when you stand back and look at it, it looks like a bunch of garbage, which is what they said when they yeah. when they sold me the place. And here there's a feather sewing machine. Featherweight, yeah. Yeah, yeah. feather sewing machine. Uh, there's a whole other room over here, a big room. I'm gonna, hang on, so let me check the bathroom. There's a lot of cleaning products in here. Yeah. Yeah, this bathroom is uh, a little worse for wear. Oddly, it looks like I don't want to think somebody was using it in this condition, but there's fairly recent looking soap products down here and Febreze and stuff, and that is a little nasty. Anne of Green Gables. Well, that could be good. Anne of Green Gables is a really popular well, book they series. Have a lot of them. Anne of Green Gables. Yeah, but what year are they from? Those look like they're pretty early. Like, I'm going to guess. Let's see the cover. Let's see if I can make a wild guess. I'm going to guess this is from 1930, 1930, somewhere around there. And let's see. No, I was way off. 1950. Oh. But still, popular book series. It had that kind of look. You know, actually, as I look at it, I'm... I remember we uh, thought we had an older one before, didn't we? Like the... I'm usually I'm disappointed in myself. I'm usually better at guessing dates on books from the way the covers are made, but so those are probably all from the fifties, so that's yeah. okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna go I'm yeah. gonna go in. I know. I'm moving. <laughs> okay, hang on. Is my light on? Yeah it is. I'm looking at the books. Rudyard Kipling. Anna Green Gables. Well there might be some uh Good books, Call of the Wild. That's Jack London, right down there. So if you find first editions of certain books, they can be quite good. Okay. I'm going to go through this little pathway here. I'm wiggling my way in. Okay, I don't have electricity in this room, or I don't have a working light. Uh, but I've got books. I have what looks like bags of old clothes. Rakes. <laughs> yeah, rakes. Woohoo! Don't forget the rakes. Don't forget the rakes. Paintings. Artwork. And actually, I see that one's canvas, so that is an actual painting. That's not a print. Oh, there's a singer accessory kit and a metronome. Cool. An antique metronome. But this is um, a serger, I think, right? Do you want to open that up? Sure. Matching crystal wine set. Button holder. I, th I, buy, I have a button holder, but mine's not like that. It's very cool. Kind of a neat old clock. It's a Sessions mantle clock, and it has like two sort of, they look like they're Dutch young lovers kissing on top of the clock. It's kind of cute. That is an antique tapestry, actually. I walked right past it, but that is quite an old tap. It's a section of antique tapestry that's been framed. So this is a fireplace. Oh, well, wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting a fireplace down here either. So this must be like a downstairs living room, I guess. And... That has a bed. Like, the thing is, every, every one of these bags is full of vintage clothes or um, scarves. So that's a silk scarf. Old liquor control board box. So you get your whiskey or gin and that thing. There's, More old books. These are just teetering. See these? Oh, that's just about to fall over? Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Oh, there's the world's biggest deep freeze over there. That is... Uh, that's like the King Kong of deep freezes. I can't imagine getting it down here. Uh, I can't imagine getting it out. No. We don't have to. Thank goodness. I learned since we did the uh, musician's house that um, I don't do appliances. Oh, there's a ni nice old trunk over there. And I see a whole bunch of antique teacups in that box. 
This is why I have to be careful where I'm stepping because I don't want to step on a box of old teacups. But there is a trunk. What's in the trunk? Oh, that's, it's so close. Oh, there's a giant spider on the wall. Is it alive? Yeah, it's still active. <laughs> I, I, for some of the people at home, that's not going to be... Uh, we, don't, uh, we don't have rats in our area. And we don't really have much for poisonous snakes. So a lot of times uh, when people when I'm climbing around, people are always like, aren't you worried you're going to get bitten by a cobra? Did I almost knock the yeah, glass over? so close. I, th I felt like something bad was happening over there. We don't have poisonous snakes where we are. <sighs> yeah, we do. Just not, not in this area. No, not in our area. Or if we do, they're really uncommon. They got out of somebody's tank. But if we do have them, it's going to be in this basement. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. <Yeah. laughs> Somebody just got the heebie-jeebies at home as I zoomed in on that. Okay. I'm trying to get to this trunk. Oh. The camera wobbling was me almost falling over. Hey, there's a whole box of old postcards. You are so easily distracted. I know, I'm like a squirrel. <laughs> this is a swell hangout. <laughs> but old postcards are good, though. Yeah. Like, I know I can sell old postcards. That's why I got excited by it. Because at the end of the day, oh, look, there's more teacups. See, that's why you can't just blindly put your foot down. Because there's, God, there's spider webs everywhere. I can tell you, um, I was told that the lady had not been in this basement and probably, she hadn't been down. She had a helper that came down. But she hadn't been down here in years, in this particular room anyway. There's a nice old pocket knife right there. That looks like it's going to be an English pocket knife. I'm going to open it up and see. Actually, uh, looks like it's a hand. Okay. Nope, made in Japan. Well, it's still... Nice little knife. I'll put that in my back pocket for later. What is in this trunk? You not you don't want to brave this, Mel? No, I don't want to. You don't want to brave it? There's a lot of teacups. What are we gonna find in the trunk? I'm really curious what's in the trunk. I'm curious what's in the trunk too. Uh that looks like a La Cruzette um pot. Pen. It is. What? It actually is. That's like a super duper expensive uh, cookware pot. Like these are, how much are these things? Like three, four hundred bucks new? It just depends on the size of the... I'm going to put it there for later. So I always say I'm not, a, I'm not an expert on really anything in particular, but I'm a good generalist. <laughs> Other than when it's identifying the age of books, apparently. You know, I'm going to need two hands to get this box down. So just give me one sec. I'll be back. I'm just kind of peeking around. Melissa went to go grab me a uh, an empty box so I can put some of this stuff in. I'll try and keep the teacups together. The cups and saucers. And then a lot of this is sort of just like... Bleh. Why every cup has a freaking spider inside of it? I feel like I'm in the spider den over here. I'm not not loving this. I can just see, like, I can feel it on my face. I got all these cobwebs on me. Yeah, hang on. Can I open this? Let's get some light in here. Oh, let's see if I can get... I'm struggling to reach this. Okay. There. Oh, that's that's too big of a box. I just need a little one. I need one like a quarter that size. You know what? Hang on. I can, uh... Okay, I'll use it. I'll use it. Let me get you just a little box. Okay. If you, if you don't mind. What am I looking at here? And country and western songs. Furlan Husky. Patsy Klein. What's under this blanket? Oh, hang on. Yeah, that's perfect. See, second time's a charm. That's the perfect size box. Okay, are you ready for it? Okay, let's try. Oh, and I caught it too. <laughs> Ringling Brothers Circus, here we come. There's some, uh, I was told that she was a smoker and there's some heavy nicotine on these glasses from them to uh, permeate into the basement. That's an awful lot of dust and smoking and stuff. Oh, glasses and cups and you know a good wash and these are just fine 
Now I'm starting to sound like I have problems. Well, I just washed that off. Sure, it had a little plutonium on it, but you know, it's good for the goose. Okay. I'm going to get this. That looks like something you would have bought in Italy on vacation, you know? Like when you go through, um, where was the glass blowing place we went to? The, yeah, the Burano or Murano, uh glass blowing works. That's the exact type of thing that they sell up there. And that is hand painted. I don't see a signature on it anywhere, but that looks like the sort of stuff you buy when you're on vacation in Italy with its little matching cup right there. I'll very gently put that in the box as well. Well, it does say made in Italy on it. It looks like it could be blown glass. Kind of neat. Okay. I'm going to get the rest of this cleared off and then we'll get to the trunk. Hey, I left everything intact. You can see the spider webs are still attached to this thing. Surprisingly, the trunk's still in. Look at all those spider webs. Yeah. Okay, is there anything in this trunk? Oh, it's is it locked? Nope. Oh, cool. What is it? Well, it's like, uh, it's keepsakes, but there is a really nice vintage jacket. Like, uh, it looks like a, uh, like a sophomore kind of 1950s Arbor Evo. I don't even know what that is. Velut Arbor Evo. That is a really cool jacket. I'll zoom out. Maybe somebody at home knows what that crest is. I'm not familiar with it. But it looks like maybe a fraternity jacket or something. Um, there's really old yarn. Oh, there's old dolls. Antique dolls. And they're wrapped up in plastic, so they're still just fine. This is, this is keepsakes. Yarn. I see a Burks. Hang on. Silver Fork. Rogers. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's actual silver. That's not electroplated. So that probably came from like maybe a wedding set or something. But I see a Burks box down at the bottom. And I see more antique dolls. And there's dolls at the top there. Those look like maybe Madame Alexander's. A seahorse for some reason. There's all kinds of neat stuff in here, but I'm curious to know what is in the Burks box. There's like little jewelry looking boxes in here. See, Melissa, sometimes you got to go where the spider webs are to find the golden spoon. Now that's that's silver, but it's gold plated silver. I really like that jacket, but that Burks thing, I'm gonna have to work to get down to that. Okay, I'm gonna close this up to keep this safe for now. There's probably gonna be a ton of goodies inside of that trunk. Everything in there looks like it's from the 40s or 50s too. Like pretty well untouched. Um I don't know. I mean, I literally have no idea what's in all these boxes at my feet. Oh, of course it dumped out. Recipes? Is it? Mm, it's clippings of some kind. I don't know what, what they are. Stress is needed for hobble. It looks like it's uh, doctor's notes and stuff and an old deck of playing cards. From... What? I don't know. Just an old deck of cards. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna come out. This room feels like it has potential. Yeah. And actually, that one trunk feels like it has a lot of potential. And we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do a few episodes. You can probably and, come through this way. This is how I came through. Is that where you went through? Yeah. So I got a vacuum that... But be careful in that corner is spider webs going from the floor to the ceiling. God, you put me through spider no, web I'm alley. Sorry. No, it's all over right where I have to. There's spider webs freaking everywhere. Oh, well, I can... Okay, hang on. I'll turn the light back on. Some of this stuff will be easy to get rid of. Just pillows that can go in the trash. But there's a... Uh, a random rubber glove or leather glove. 
Yeah, there's cobwebs all through this way. I'm gonna have to comb my hair out when I get back. Look, the queen mum was young when that book came out. The reign of Queen Elizabeth II and the Queen Mother. A lot of a, a lot of Canadians of a certain generation were quite an, enamored with the royal family. So I find a lot of houses that I go into that have uh, that belong to older folks have stuff like that. When am I going to find a box of old Hot Wheels and just make my day? That's what I want to know. Well, I thought maybe. Oh gosh, this. Shells. Like these boxes are all still tied up. Look at that. Tied up with who knows what inside of it. If you want to see what's inside of it, you're going to have to keep watching. Oh, there's a lot of clothes and stuff in. Oh, you can't. People at home can't see because I'm too far. But I can see it's full. That closet's full. But I can't open it yet because the door is blocked. Okay. All right. And then we have. Oh, geez, I can just feel in my hair. Yeah, I got the creepy crawlies in that room. It's like you're excited to find cool stuff. And then here we have just a laundry room with your Harvest Gold appliances. You know, the thing is, like these appliances, as old as they are, probably still work perfect. Yeah, yeah like th this thing probably. Actually, I'm going to look inside to see what kind of shape it's in. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, that paint stood up really well. That harvest gold and brown. You know what? These would be excellent. Like if you were making a movie or something and you needed appliances from the 70s, these would be gold, literally. Because um, it's really hard to find stuff like this and nobody keeps it. Some kind of table or portable bed or something. This is the other side. I'm, I'm near the freezer. Dare I open the freezer? Mm, well, it doesn't stink. I don't know what that is. Like, there's stuff still sealed up in boxes. Like, nobody's ever... What do we have? Let's see. And what's inside? What is inside? I don't understand what I'm looking at. Oh, it's a uh, lawn fertilizer for high traffic areas. That's weird that they put lawn fertilizer in a cardboard box like that. Oh, there's two ways to get into the strips? Yeah, I guess so. Wow, that's this uh, crazy freezer. It's I, massive. I don't think I've ever seen a double freezer pop like that. Is this a Kelvinator? Oh. Cool. No bodies. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Is it separate on the inside, like two freezers as one big chest? Or um, big box? I think it's one, no, maybe it is separate. I don't know. I don't really feel like looking right now. It's something. Hey, look, there's more uh, lawn stuff. That might come in handy for us. Mid-century modern, 1950s stool, old fabric. See, this is the thing. You, you kind of take a risk on a property like this because you, you hear those things like, you know, been in the house a long time and, you know, 60 years in a home. I'm putting my hand into... Yeah. That's a wallet. These are wallets. Now, you would think most people would have emptied money out of the wallet, right? Not every time. Okay, well, I don't want to... There is stuff in that one, but it's just personal stuff. Not even a dime? That's all right. Yeah, it's always dimes. It is always dimes. Handy bulb. Oh, my goodness. And yet another bed. How many people were there anticipating to sleep in this house? And you don't even have room to set them up. Okay. I don't know about you, but I say... We go upstairs and load up all the jewelry. Yeah, that's a good idea. And, like to to oh, I have a working light. Well, there's a lot of clothes. All these bags are vintage clothes. Like, that is something you definitely don't want to overlook because they can be quite good. Um, I'm probably going to need 
a dump pit. Oh, look, did you see this little room here? Yeah, or a door? I peeked in it. I think I peeked in it. Oh, it's just, it just goes to the, yeah. where, where does it go? Isn't that the... It's like the water? chimney and the water, yeah. the backside. Well, I guess it's handy to have an extra access for that. You know what? You know what I just realized, Mel? What? Hang on. We got everything on the property, and there's a garage back there. We didn't even, we got to go in the backyard. There's a whole other, there's a whole other building. It's just, I mean, it's the, it's always, there's stuff everywhere, but literally there's stuff everywhere. Okay. Let's go check the garage out. You first. Oh. I'll follow you. I am, yeah, I, I'm going to turn it off. So we haven't really even looked that hard and there's tons of vintage clothing, featherweight sewing machine, mm -hmm. uh, a trunk full of collectibles and antique dolls and gold and silver spoons. Teacups. Teacups. Teacups for ages. Um, and there's jewelry. Okay, we'll go, we'll go at the back. Do you have the keys for the... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to... Actually, hang on. Let's go check it out and then we'll see what we need. I have the house key with me, so if it's on the same lock. Hey, there's a bird bath. No, there's a bird bath. Do you want another bird bath on the property? What's the big green bin? What does it look like? Oh, it's a compost bin. It's a pretty industrial compost bin. Shovel. Well, there's not much in the backyard. The tulips are coming up. Oh, oh yeah. That's why I said tulips. That's why you kept saying tulips. Finally, something that's not snow. Please be a 57 Chevy. Nope. Well, the door is oh, unlocked, but it's stuck. It's... There's a bunch of debris in the way. Is there any other way in? I don't know. Let's walk around. Well, yeah, there's going to be a garage door. Somebody's been pooking in here. Let me turn this light off. Well, there's stuff in there. I can see lawn chairs, maybe an axe handle. I think a bicycle. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I remember this. This is that... Did you ever have family that had this type of stucco on their house? And then I somehow hit my elbow against it and yeah, they would, cheese grated your elbow off. Yeah, so this is broken uh, bottles. Yeah. Anybody who's of a certain age, I guess myself included, but they would take in the 40s and 50s, um, they'd recycle old 7-Up and Coke bottles and stuff, and they'd put it into stucco like this on your house and bits of rock and whatever. It's kind of neat until, yeah, you slide against it as a kid and you, ah, oh, my arm. Okay, this is our way in, but uh, let's go. There were some keys that they said they left on the table, so let's go see if we can find those. We need master and baton. Baton. Okay. Okay, I found the box of keys, but there are a lot of them. But specifically, I know I'm looking for something that says master and something that says baton and if I'm lucky oh there's skeleton keys well, that one says garage but that's probably the door that's already open probably that's why they're using the uh, padlock and blocked it because that door stopped working oh this little key might be something oh, I'll keep that aside anything that looks like a padlock key size I'll keep aside. Yeah, I, guess I don't see anything. Anything small, I'll, I'll try and see if it works. Oh, look, a tiny little pocket knife on there. The other thing is it might be in one of those junk drawers too. Oh boy, hey, there's GM keys. There was a car here at one point. Those are like 1960s General Motor keys, really antique keys. Some of these might be for the trunk downstairs. 
All right, I'm going to try my best to find keys that work. And if I don't find it, I guess I'll have to uh, revisit it with ye old bolt cutters at a later date. Yeah, I don't see any. Un unless the junk drawer... Well, every, every wallet, there's a, like a dungeon master amount of keys in here. I think one of them would be the right. Guess what? Master and Baton. The two exact names of the padlocks that we're looking for. Um, loot, yeah. Loading the loot? Yeah, it feels actually a little awkward. Oh. But, you know what's hard? Not going through it all now. Oh, I know. But you know, we should check under the mattress and yeah, the other, you know what, before we go, oh look, there's a, there's a little box on the floor. Let's, let's check since we're trying to find some jewelry to haul out of here first, because that's an easy place to get your money back. Let's clear some of this stuff and just see. There's, an interesting piece of like the... there's a purse and it has stuff in it. Actually, these purses are full of something. Must all be clothes and stuff that fell down in the closet over the years. Empty, empty. And we've had mice in here, so they've shredded some stuff. But if you're going to hide something that's of value to you, I'm guessing they it would end up in the closet like this. There's some like neat sort of dresses and stuff at the bottom here. Lockbox, toolbox, empty box. Empty. Unless these purses are just stuffed with stuffing. Yeah. Hey, look, a pocket knife. Huh. I'm finding all the pocket knives today. Wasn't expecting that. No, I wasn't expecting. Granny was packing a, a pokey stick in her purse. <laughs> You come one step closer and I'm going to plug you. <laughs> yeah, she kept a knife in her purse. All right. And hangers. What's this? Smith Corona typewriter ribbon. Belts, yeah, there's definitely was a mouse nest back there at one point. Unfortunately, some of these clothes might be eaten up. Hard to say. Hey, there's an attic hatch up there. Is there? Yeah. In the closet. And there's boxes with stuff. Let's take one of these down. Let's see what's in it. Paperwork, papers. Oh, these are like the original uh, owner's manual for the washer and dryer in the basement. Well, but I wonder if anything's in the attic. Hard to say. Anything in the drawer? Well, it's a little covered. Quick, quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, hair extensions. Hair. Yep. You know, I know why they're using hair extensions because they used their permanent hair remover and it was too effective. Maybe. There's okay. like a brooch, but it's... Okay, well, some we'll get loaded up on some of the jewelry and stuff. This really, you know, anytime I see a Crown Royal bag, I just know it probably had something cool in it other than Crown Royal. Another, oh, Rolex. But it's also in with like a... Hang on, let's see if it's even an automatic. It, it's in with like a plastic clutch, so. Hmm. It does have a screw down crown on it. Does it? Yeah. I'm thinking replica. Well, we could open it. Well, I do have a watch opener at home. For, it does have the proper spline back on it. 
But if this was a real Rolex, the minute I start shaking it, it would start going, which tells me it's probably battery operated. Either way, somebody would buy a replica Rolex too. I'll put that in the, if that's the top pocket find. See, look at me go. Look at you go, finding all the things. Got some hoops. Gold hoops. Okay. What else are you finding? I don't know. Hold on. Nothing. But a ring box. Yeah, it is actually. The ring box is kind of cool. Some more hair. Oh, that's actual hair. Weights. Weights and stuff. Okay. While you're looking here, I'm going to go saunter out to the garage. Okay. Hey, well, Melissa looks inside. I'm going to see if these are the right keys for this padlock. Well, guess what? They were the right keys. Success. Okay. I'm guessing that nobody's been in here for quite some time. Look at the rust on that thing. Umbrella, old vacuum hose, great. gross old mattress. Ah, well, I'm always looking for old oil cans, and look, there actually is one in here. A couple old oil cans. Hey, that's actually a <laughs> funny thing is, this uh, Cryco windshield washer solvent can is probably worth about 60 bucks because it's actually branded to Chrysler or Chrysler. Some people don't like the way I say that. Maybe we say things different in Canada. What can I tell you? Old cans and bottles, a whole bunch of, what is this, whiskey bottles? Five-star Canadian rye whiskey. Okay. Looks like maybe a carpet or something. There is an old bike and a lawnmower. Uh, which looks like it hasn't moved in a while, although it's not terribly old. Maybe 15, 10, 15 years old, something like that. Oh, look, they used their, uh, you see, they made a cupboard out of old refrigerator boxes. Refrigerator, like wooden refrigerator crates. That's how old of a house this is, that the fridge came in a big wooden crate. And what's up top? Something wrapped up up top there, very carefully. Oh, another little lawnmower there. And TV trays. Remember watching TV shows and you put your uh, hungry man dinner on that? <laughs> okay. Well, I can see this has been a very healthy uh, environment for spiders. What the heck is this? Handle with care. Telescopic mirror. Oh, that's like a, that's a table, like a outdoor patio table. Well, I mean, this older bike is in pretty good shape. Hang on, let me get the light on so we can see what's in these cabinets back here. Okay. An old sled. Big wooden sled right there. And another antique uh, crate. Like a big container. Alright, I'm curious. How, oh, this was a heated garage at one point. So somebody had it set up that you could work out here in winter. Some old suitcases, a really old lawnmower. Actually doesn't look to be in terrible shape either. I might have to dig that out. That's why that door couldn't open. They Somebody's intentionally piled stuff in front of it. And then you've got a, I thought it was a cart, but I think that's like a deck chair. Okay, let's see what's in these cabinets. A hard hat fell out. Pine cones. Oh, is that an old pram? That's an antique pram. Right there. 
and a little steamer trunk. Bathroom light globe, old beer bottles, empty of course. There's the box for the corningware. Hmm, let's hope that was for the dog and it doesn't contain a dog. Anybody else curious to know what what something marked dog is? Pot. Oh, it's like a dog dish, maybe, that's marked dog. And there's a bowl and a bone. So maybe it's just all their dog stuff from when they had a pet. That's not as bad as I thought it was. Morning wear. This is kind of cool, because I can definitely tell that this has not been gone through in quite some time. It's just coffee cans. Come on, box of toy cars. <laughs> All this stuff. Melissa, in, in the meantime, is pulling just boxes full of jewelry out in the other room, which we'll go through later. Yeah, kind of a neat old wooden ladder. Okay, let's see what's in this one. Jars. Shoe shine kit right there. And... Maybe an old oil can hang up. I'm gonna step over here and find out. No. If it, if it was, it's not anymore. Rocks. What is that? Shoes. Well, I mean, there's stuff wrapped up down there. Everything that I'm looking at is eventually I'm going to have to go through in more depth. That uh, ceramic dog dish is actually kind of cool. Antique pram is a good find. Oh, and the trunk. Yeah, I'll do that on a future episode. We'll go through the trunk. But, uh, no, I mean, there's some neat stuff. There's a, a lot of garbage, but... There's also a lot of neat stuff too. So I'm not complaining, I'll put the work in. Oh, look at that, that's like an old uh, crate. There's an old flashlight down on the ground there, right there with the signal on it. A really old flashlight there, polishing compound, car wax. So obviously there was an old car in here at some point. Not anymore. Oh, I've got spider web stuck to my arm. Shoe ice lock and windshield de-icer. And super old paint cans. Okay, well, it's actually kind of a neat little building. It's got a high roof. There's horseshoes on the wall over there. Don't know what this is. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay. I think that marks the time for me to leave this garage. It's officially starting to get to me. Time for me to go lock it back up. Just... Came back in the house. Melissa's still working on the drawers. You find anything cool? This one's broken. I found a $10 bill. Oh, cool. Let me fold it up. Yep. That's an older one, too. Yeah. Empty jewelry boxes? Yeah, I've just been putting the empty jewelry boxes in the bottom drawer, so if we end up finding anything, yeah. Okay. Box there. Old Canadian tire money. I see you found, was Prince here? I... Did Prince used to live here? Because you found a raspberry beret. I don't know if you know what we did that out of my head. I wonder if I'm gonna to have to pay royalties on that now. Right. Um, okay, well, 10 bucks is 10 bucks. Uh, the garage did have stuff in it. Oh yeah. I found an antique uh, baby or doll pram. Um, there's another steamer trunk that I didn't even open yet. That's cool, I can't yeah. believe you didn't open it. There's actually multiple trunks in there. Uh, mostly it's spiders. Oh, 
Is that why you didn't open the trunk? No, that's not why I didn't open the trunk. I'm, I didn't open the trunk because I missed you. I want to come back in and see what you're up to. Like, oh, she's finding all the things. No, but you know what? As I walked back in the room, I saw that little bit of a blanket sticking out there. And that appears to be a Hudson Bay point blanket, which is wool, um, but also very collectible. Um, so I'm going to see. Yeah, it is. And it's a, you count the points to see how big it is. It's a four point. So that's a full size. Yoink. <laughs> that's going to get folded up and brought back. People love bay blankets. Um, they're very in right now. Well, still very in. They never really went out. Um, so that's that's super cool. Did, did you look under the bed yet? Uh, I started to, but I found mouse poop, so I stopped until the had a mask. Mm, that might not stop me. Probably should. I started sneezing my it head off in the garage. A lot? Yes. Like that's where I think they're... Well, there's something sticking like, out right here. It's in a bag, so the stuff should be fine, but the... Oh, is this what you were trying to pull out? Yeah. And it's just it looks like stuffed animals. I'm using my foot. Oh, I see the mouse poop over there. They're probably beanie babies or something. Okay, I'm going to get this bay blanket off. I'm using my foot because I don't want to get my hand dirty. <laughs> um, that I, I just said I don't want to get my hand dirty after I went, like, poking around in spider nests and stuff. And what am, who am I kidding? Um, all right. Well, I'm going to get this bay blanket folded up. Well, I decided to lift the bed up. And underneath the bed, stashed full of beanie babies. But they're in plastic giant Ziploc bags, so they should actually still be okay. Even though there was mice in the vicinity, that they should be all right. Yeah. Um, do you want to just kind of... Oh, never mind. We'll wait until we get this fully out. But I'm wondering what's down near the end. Because this was obviously... Maybe that's where slightly more special stuff was. Okay, I'm going to grab another garbage bag and pick up some of this plastic. Well, guys, for the first day of digging finding all kinds of neat things and if i'm honest i have a feeling that the, there's gonna be a lot of stuff hidden in that basement that we just can't see right now melissa is actively cleaning stuff out and i'm also filling up garbage bags with just trash and things like that but um we are going to be putting out uh, a number of these videos as i mentioned before so if you haven't subscribed to our channel you should do that right now hit the subscribe subscribe button and also hit the like button um I guess we'll just finish up in here and then we'll head back home in a, in a little bit. But uh, I'll be at this pretty much all week. So guys, who knows what we're going to find, but you'll be along for the ride with us. Uh, thanks again for watching. Um, this would be a fun adventure already is so far. Stay tuned for more episodes. And as always, bye for now. Bye, guys. Bye, everyone.